And now it is Lovecraft Country time. Me and Larry mm -hmm. love this show. Every show feels like a finale. We're talking about episode five. Larry, give me your rundown. Lovecraft Country, episode five. And are you going to explicitly talk about your love for Juicy Smiley, sister? <laughs> man, journey is journey is is getting it in this season, man. I, I'll tell you, this this episode had me with all kinds of just mixed feelings. I don't know. I was I don't know how I felt coming out of this show, boy, because mm -hmm. man, it was. I mean, first you had first you had that that scene where you know, where Atticus rolls up in there and just beats the holy hell up out of his pops. I mean, was just, was putting it in on him. But you seen that, you seen that coming. I did, but then, but you could see that, that Letty was afraid of him too, because when Letty walked downstairs, when she went, when he went to her dark room, looking through her photos, if you saw, she had a baseball bat in her hand. Yeah. yeah. She was like, she was, she went down there thinking I might have to swing on this fool. Yeah. You know, she, she didn't go down there thinking, oh, this is a dude that I'm into and he's into me. This she went down there thinking like I might have to go defend myself, you know. So I don't I mean, I had all kinds of feelings about this episode. It, I mean, it's I feel like I need to watch it again. I, I mean, I feel also I mean, I felt all kinds of ways about seeing that the whole thing with I mean, we finally had it confirmed. We've been talking about it for a while about whether or not. um you know, the white blonde chick was the same as the dude. And we had that confirmed that that they're the same person. I told you. you. Know? We, we, we said that yeah. on the second episode review that they was one yeah. and the same. We said it. We said yeah, it right so here. You you said it. We said it. We talked about it. We said it could be the same person. You were the first one that said it. So, you know, you were right. And, and we had that confirmation. I think that I felt some sort of way. I wasn't sure, you know, the, I understand where that, you know, you give him this, you give her that, that, uh, you know, that, that serum and then she can, that potion, whatever it is. And she can turn into a white lady. Eh. I mean, it just, there's so many different feelings about that as a black person. Like how, I mean, I get it on some levels. Like if you could do it, okay, you do it because I mean, I, I mean, I have to admit if I could change into something else, it would be it would be entertaining just to see how your life would be different and how things would be different in that moment. Like if I could change myself into a white man or a woman or or a or a dog or a, a or a dragon, sure I'd do it if I can switch back, you know. <laughs> so I don't necessarily so, want to stay that way, but so, it would So you be, want to be a shapeshifter. If you had mutant powers, you would use them to be shapeshifting. Yeah, that would be, I mean, it would be, it would give you, definitely would give you more perspective on how other people are. You know, if you're a man and you never understood what it feels like for a woman to work in a place around a bunch of men or what it may feel like as a woman to have to walk down the street by yourself at night, you will get a different perspective. You know, if you're black and you've never known what it feels like to be in a white world, or if you're white and you've never known what it's like to be in a black world, it will give you some perspective. And so it could be interesting to have that power. I I feel like I feel like with uh with uh what's her name? Um with Let with Letty's sister, um I'm blanking on her name. Whatever, Letty's sister, whatever her name is. Um I just felt like she started to get a little persnippity with it when she was when she was talking to the black woman and she was angry because she didn't have but a seventh grade education and and you know she didn't you know she wasn't particularly good at anything she just got the job because she was probably because she was she was skinny and she was pretty and maybe it looked like that that manager at some point wants to try and get at her because we saw him how you know she was hemmed up in the alley behind that behind that club and dude was all up in her trying to get at her so mm -hmm. you know i think he was just thinking oh, i'll hire her and eventually i'll be able to get at her but i felt like even the way she treated her when she had that little bit of power over her just you know was just a little bit wrong i think she did right by her eventually but i felt like she in her moment of anger she was just wrong Con considering uh, considering how and i'm gonna have to go back and watch le legitimately everybody you probably could watch these episodes two or three times to find little things that you might have missed, little Easter eggs yeah. that you might have missed. There's a lot. 
I mean, there's a lot. Yes, each I like each one of them feels like it could be a finale. And Larry, I want to ask you, considering this episode was all over the place. I mean, they was somewhere everywhere. What do you think was supposed to be in the essence of this particular episode? Oh, it was definitely, it was definitely, you know, uh, you know, the sort of a uh, uh, transformation or metamorphosis. You know, the whole thing of coming out and becoming who you truly are, mm -hmm. and you know, and I think it was, you know, like we saw this, the, uh, we we saw the scenes playing back and forth with the whole metamorphosis between. Um, I can't. I just can't remember her name. Letty's sister. We saw her. You know, when they had her turn it, which they had her. She she was a white woman, and then and then she shed all that, and she and she became a black woman again. And she was. It, it seemed like she was. Um, you know, she had a better sense of understanding of herself and the world, and was more confident. And and you know, and then at the same time, we saw on the other side, we saw, um, we saw Atticus's dad with the with the drag queens. And he finally seemed like he was coming to terms with what he is and who he is, and and ends in that in that in that sort of crescendo where where he's kissing, you know that the the boy. I don't know if you want to call him his boyfriend, but the guy that I guess he had been interested in and had been had been sneaking around with. He finally kisses him because at that one point when they were in the they were all backstage and they made some comment, and one of the one of the drag queens said said, oh, they hadn't even kissed yet or something. They hadn't even locked lips yet or something like that. And so I think it was just sort of that that metamorphosis moment for both of them where you clearly had, you know, uh, Letty's sister shedding off all of that crap and being the woman that she is. And him on the other end, shedding off all of the all of the stuff about trying to hide who he is and just openly kissing his, his, his lover or his boyfriend or whatever. And so it, it, it was... It was an interesting episode. It wasn't the most – I didn't think that play, right, between those two things was the most creative. It was very obvious what, what it was what was going to happen. I mean, I saw that a mile away, so it wasn't like it was the most creative, but it was still creative in the way they did it. Mm -hmm. And, Larry, the sister's name is Ruby. Ruby, right. So, yeah. Ruby, when Ruby was – one thing I want to know is, 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 does, is Ruby gay now? I, I don't know. I mean – would you assume she is? I mean, she thought she was sleeping with a dude and she had a dude's body, but oh, damn, spilled my drink. I guess that's your answer. <laughs> I guess so. Damn. Well, my man Chris P wants to know, and I don't know if you know, I couldn't tell either. After the scene where Atticus beat up the daddy, who was in the picture that, okay. You have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know that too. So anybody know who Atticus was complaining, who was in that picture Atticus was fussing out Letty about, please post your comments. But for me, the writing in this thing has been great. It's been great writing. And I feel like every episode um, could, could play on each other, but they seem like they're all still leading you to a different place. Like I'm anxious to see how are they going to end this whole entire thing? How are they going to end it? Larry, how do you curious think about that too? I have no idea because every time I think that they're like, every time I think that they're getting to a certain point, they just, they throw you through a new loop. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I ultimately, I think where they're going to probably end up, I think it's going to end up with a battle between Atticus and uh, what's her name? Christine? Christine? Christine Brake White. Yeah, Christine Brake uh, break weight or some, uh -huh. so I think it's going to end up with a battle between them, um, because I think Atticus is going to is going to uh, decipher or decode the Book of Adam, and he's going to end up with spells of his own that he's able to use, and he's going to get a, he's going to get a lot of power, and I think there may be some there may be some conflict between him. And Letty, when he gets that powerful, and I don't know, maybe Letty will have some of that power too, because if she, you know, if the book is decoded and she's able to use the the, the magic too, then all of a sudden now you're you're looking at you're looking at two really powerful people, and if they go up against her, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. I think that's where it's probably going to end up is where those two are going to end up going against um going up against what's her name, 
um, Christine Brinkley. Christine. Yeah, because because that's ultimately what she wants. She wants to see. She wants those that book decoded. Those she wants the book of Adam decoded, the language of Adam decoded, and mm -hmm. and she can't do it on her own. Right. So. so Blow fly 3000, I hope you're talking about blowing the fly and not the unzipper fly, has said <laughs> he was looking for pictures of the pages that Montrose disposed of. Okay. Right. Okay. Easy enough to follow. I don't know how we overlooked that. Um, but again, I'm going to have to and watch this thing again. Did. And she right. did. She said that she took pictures of them. So we know that. Well, we saw later that, that he was looked like he was decoding them. So Right. Right. Um man, what if what if they made them team up, Larry? Or what what if something some weird mythical element happened to come up and Atticus and Christine had to team up for something? It can, could you see that in the writing by the end of this season? I, no, I could see it because it, it might be almost that they're setting that up because we see that that uh I don't know if he was a police officer or the sheriff, that dude that where um where Ruby was hiding in his closet with that dude that was all cut up. You know, we saw that that he that it looked, I guess he was the head of one of those lodges, and I guess he's trying to do some of his stuff. So we know something's gonna we know something's gonna be up. And so maybe he's gonna be in for a power grab. Mm -hmm. And because Christy the Christy doesn't have an actual lodge, I mean she's out there doing her stuff on her own. She just happens to be smarter than everybody else that's doing all the white people. She's smarter than all the white folks. And so it just could be that they do have to team up so that they can defeat him. And there's something that's weird with him. It look, it looks like his body. Like, did you see when he took his shirt off? It almost looked like he had a separate body from his head. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like that dude that was in the closet, it was like you could see where he was all cut up as like they had looked like his face was cut, his neck was cut. It almost looked like they were like using his skin as like a skin suit or something for the other dude. It was weird. I don't know what was up with that, but it was like it almost looked like he had a separate, like his body was different from his head. So hey, it in order to watch this show, you got to give it full attention, you got to yeah. come with an open mind. And you've got to pay attention to detail. This is not the kind of show where you can think you can just skip out, go get some popcorn, be gone 30, 40 seconds, and be able to keep up with everything. You can't do that with this show, ladies and gentlemen. You got to sit there in attention. But it's right. been good. Um, I'm hearing the rumors that they are going to have another season, even though it feels as though you can contain this particular season in itself, I'm hearing that there's going to be another season. The rumblings are already out there. Would you be Would you, you be know, cool the for that? The thing is, is that they. I mean, depending on depending on where their mindset oh, is with this, they could do this story the same way they did, like um, sort of like how they did. Um, what's that show? Penny. Um, Penny dreadful. Penny dreadful. Where you can have them just pay basically like when they did that Penny dreadful, the one where they moved to L.A. You can have one character that sort of becomes like the linchpin between the two stories, but you just move to an entirely different area and have an entirely different cast with a whole new set of stories, and it would work. You check know, this, check this out. My man Blowfly 3000 is coming in here hitting home runs. He said, In the book, Christina will try to merge all the lodges together under one banner. Which is basically what Larry is saying. You could have a season with a banner that's in like the Northern Elks or whatever, and she can be the leader. I mean, I could see this thing going five different ways from Sunday. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe what we'll see is Ramona will show up inside of, of Lovecraft Country oh. as a political operative. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and maybe, that, we'll see, that, maybe we'll see Letty and 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 and, and Ramona fighting over uh, Atticus. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude the review of Lovecraft Country.